little bit. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, so uh, it is kind of series that I will introduce the homology and cohomology, but uh, uh, basically some homology, a uh, homological algebra about the complex and the modules. Okay, and I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Okay, uh, so this video that I will basically introduce the complexes and uh, some basic notation, and uh, do some simple proof. Okay, so uh, all the things that I talk. Uh, in this video are basically the the complexes of modules. So everyone's the every guy's a module, and uh, we are only focused on the commutative ring with identity. So uh, you can imagine that all these uh, left and right module are the same. Okay. So uh, the the so the example of the complexes right in the natural is come from algebraic topology. So in the algebra topology, that uh, if you see the like Allen Hatcher, that the starting point is that you have some topological space, and you will introduce your collect function from a uh, delta n to x, where delta n is some uh, simplices, so called simplices, simplex, simplex. Okay, from uh, x zero, x not one, up to x n, from r n plus one, then there are some of them are uh. One and they are all greater equal to zero. Okay, so obviously that when uh when n equals to one, uh n equals to zero is just a point. And then when n equals to one, there are, I think it's just uh uh x zero x zero plus x one is one, so it should be like line. So we should do as this. And uh when delta two is the x0 plus x1 plus 2 is 1, so it's like the this service. Okay, so basically, you just set some geometry object into x, and you can collect, you can define cn of x to be all the formal sum, or basically the integer sum of this uh, integer co coefficient sum of this function. So basically, it's the free abelian group. Generated by uh the set of functions, a set of such functions, such function. Okay, so uh right, and then you can define a boundary map. So the standard uh textbook results you can define a so-called boundary map. Okay, so the the boundary map is you you can see the algebra topology define uh the def the how to define it. But the idea is that uh, given a boundary. That you can map C n to C n minus one, and this boundary map partial n satisfy the weird results. Where <laughs> should be uh when you apply delta n and then you uh then you apply delta n minus one, then you get zero. Okay, so this is the same as if you know the differential geometry, right? In a differential geometry, that you can define uh you in a let's say just do some comparison when a diff in a differential geometry that you can define the 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 wrong cohomology, okay, or differential form, right? So you can consider uh d plus one manifold, and uh, consider the omega k of m, where is the differential k form on m d plus one, and you can also define the derivative, and you can check that in that case the derivative goes to zero. Okay, so from here that you will have the complexes, you will have the chain of com this is so called complexes. It goes to zero, and then they are derivative. Okay, and uh, okay, these are called a singular chain. So when it's in mathematics, when someone's someone say chain means that the coefficient will be decreasing. Okay, so. So this is our complexes. So complex, the definition for complexes means that uh, this, uh, this has the map between them. There, there are, and uh, they satisfy that the uh, composition of a the JSON one is zero, and the uh, the number is decrease. This is called a chain. Okay, then one can define a cold chain. So cold chain is simple definition is that you have something which you have some complexes and the, the results and the the, the numbers go keep going and then you still have some boundary map 
and also satisfy the eight adjacent one is zero. So sometimes I will just write the partial square or d square is zero. Okay, so in the so in the previous or the one way to define it from a chain to chain. So let's say one way to uh construct or chain from chain uh, is to just using the home. So you can define a uh, xg to be uh, let's say home of from previous example that I can define a home more morphism from C and X to some abelian group G. Okay. And uh, okay, then I need to define the derivative, so the partial on. So suppose I have this previous one, then I need to define the differential on this one. Okay, so it sometimes let me just use delta. Okay. So uh, I don't know what you what, what you guys think, but idea is very simple, right? You you have C n plus one goes to uh g and uh you have c and goes to g so obviously that uh you your delta will be a map uh from a function here to here okay so one obviously definition is that uh you you your delta n apply on c so remember c right c is a function from c and to g okay c and to g right because your delta need to map cn to cn plus one so if you take c small c uh between cn means that uh, you create a map from c to c and to g then the obvious definition is that uh, what you first you first apply the you first apply the derivative at the x on and the, then x c on okay so what i'm saying is that uh, you first you just define it to be C and the uh, times direct uh, circle uh, partial n plus one. Okay, because obviously that, uh, okay, so let me just write, write, write this down, right? So you apply on C, you're basically, you can just define to be this C, this, right? So you can see that uh, this partial n plus one will map C n plus one to G, sorry, will put C n plus one to C n, and after this C map, we'll map this C well to G, right? So you create the map like this. Okay, so this is like the natural definition. So this definition will map C n plus one to G. Okay, and obviously that the partial n plus one, uh, sorry, like on partial n, will goes to zero. Will translate into the this. It right? will translate into this delta n plus one circle delta n is zero. Okay, so okay, so this is the general construction. Okay, so now uh, one can define the homology and cohomology. Okay, so definition. So obviously that uh, since we have the map, right? So we can say that if we have the chain and uh, we have partial n. So since we know that the uh, partial n, partial n minus one are zero, uh, right? So this gives us that uh, the image of partial n will inside the kernel. Okay, so this gives you a natural definition that uh, you can define a homology. So this is called homology of this chain C Let's say this is, let's say I use C bullet to be this chain. Or sometimes people use H bullet, but some let's forget about it. So I use a C bullet defined to be the kernel. So it thinks it's module, or basically if you think abelian group, so this guy will be some module. If you think everything's a vector space, it will be subspace. So whenever it's module or abelian group or vector space, then you can always use quotient. Okay, so definition it should be the kernel divided by image. Uh, sorry, I'm stupid. So I think 
yeah so sorry for this hn i should use here so i should use hn and uh, hn plus one for cn which i ask i need a kernel in here which map to zero and the module the map come from the left hand side okay so yeah so this is the this is the cohomology okay now we can define the cohomology so we can just define cohomology the cohomology is just very simple you just go back just uh, you have the code chain where the number keep increasing and then you have delta n minus one, the delta n, delta n plus one. Okay. Now uh, hn of this xg from previous one, you can define to be the kernel of delta n plus one modular image of delta n. Okay. Okay. So any any like any kind of this guy that you can define called homology and homology. Okay. And uh, yeah, so basically, if you have a chain complex of module, if you have any chain complex of modules, and uh, then you can define a homology, or you can do a homology or homology. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's say terminology. So the terminology is the is the following, right? So if uh right, so if you have, let's consider the homology, right? If you have homology that the element, so the element let's say element belongs to the kernel of partial and map, which maps to zero, this is called a cycle. Okay, or basically n cycle. And if you have elements where it belongs to the image of the previous one, this is called uh, this partial n plus one. This is called n plus one boundary. Or n, sorry, n boundary. Okay, so ev so everything is in terms of in the this n -re So for a kernel that is called n cycle, for image is called n boundary. And uh, usually this denoted Zn, this is denoted to Bn. So usually the homology will be called Bn, sorry, the Zn quotient Bn. Okay. And uh, yeah, and uh, conversely, you can also define the co-cycle and the co-boundaries. Okay. And uh, now let me just define a final thing that I want to say. This is called the uh, uh, I think some is called the chain transformation. But I would like to say it's like a homomorphism. It's homomorphism uh, between chain. Okay. So when when you say have the homomorphism between chain, that uh, means that uh, you have from A to B. So basically, this means that you have, if you have a ch chain complex A and a chain complex B, then you want to map each element A or each A into B. Okay, so what I'm saying is that uh, if you have, let's say, AN plus 1, go to AN, N minus 1, keep going, and you have BN plus 1, BN, BN minus 1, keep going, then the list file are denoted by basically each, each, a n plus one to b n plus one. There is a middle one, and then you still have the derivative. It's a a b b b such that uh, such that the all these diagram commutes. Okay, or simply speaking, let's say partial n b right partial uh n b here. I can find n will be 5n minus 1 partial na. Okay, so this is the chain transformation or the homomorphism. I like to say homomorphism between chain. Okay. 
So one simple example is that uh, if you have a continuous map from to topological space, then the, you will introduce, then the, you will, you can prove that the, uh, if you consider homo, uh, the chain complex, a previous one, that will introduce the, uh, that will introduce the map, uh, train transformation on it. Uh, it's, it's easy to prove. You can try to prove by yourself. Right, so C of X is all the like previous one I defined that uh, you collect this free abelian group and uh, you can prove that uh, you will generate such tra train transformation on terms uh, in terms of like in the, in the, this uh, label. Okay. And the uh, next time that I will uh, keep sh uh, show some basic results uh, about this uh, about this uh, homage homage. See you guys next videos.